Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And for today's video, we are making this really, really cute pop sake. And this came out so adorable. So of course you can see it's a horse, it's got some flowers in it and came out really really cute so if you would like to see how i made this just keep watching and we'll put this together i hope you have a blessed and beautiful day friends i'll see you later bye hi friends so on this one we're starting out with our base so i just did a few cc's of epoxy with some white glitter in it. I didn't fill it all the way knowing that I needed to have room to make my layers. So now I'm adding my decal. So my decal is made with Cricut Print and Cut and I chose to use a clear sticker paper because I like that soft look of it coming through. Now I am using my epoxy. Of course, I used my epoxy mixer from Hobby Lobby to mix up my epoxy. It's really good to help keep from having bubbles in it. However, you can always spray some alcohol on it, either that or you can use a heat gun. So if you're using alcohol to get rid of bubbles, make sure it's greater than 92%. And if you use a heat gun, I prefer a soft heat gun as opposed to a torch because you can mess up your molds like that. So you can see this turned out really nice already. It looks so pretty. And again, with that second layer of epoxy over my decal, I went not all the way to the top because I still want to be able to add another element of flowers. So I have lots of different flowers to choose from. I kind of go through them and pick what I like. And with the decal having the flowers over the horse's head, I thought adding in a few real flowers would be a super nice touch for this. Now, I do have some bows that as I'm going along, if I'm not making a bow in something or I have extra epoxy, I make bows. So I do end up using a bow on this one. However, I didn't make it with it. I used a bow that I already had in place. So I'm just going to add my flowers and put them in how I want them to sit. Now I do not have to secure them or use any glue or anything like that. They are going to stay in place pretty well with the epoxy over top of them. Now for this project, I am using the Pro Marine epoxy. It's two part, part A, part B. I like it a lot. It is an FDA compliant epoxy and I have quite a bit of it left still. Now when it is done, I am going to probably go to a different epoxy and I did a video on the epoxy from the Hippie Crafter and I just really like it. It comes out so clear. I have not had any yellowing with it. I've put pieces and left them outside for a long time with no yellowing. So I personally am going to buy a larger container of that particular epoxy and I'm going to try it for a while and see how it goes. I do like the Pro Marine Epoxy, don't get me wrong. However, it does at times yellow after it's, you know, been out for a while. And I don't want that. So anyways, I just finish up my flowers and then, of course, mix up my last layer of epoxy. Again, I used my Hobby Lobby epoxy mixer. And again, four minutes, it gives it a good mix. I just set an alarm and I always get a really good mix. Again, you can only do 
so much at a time, which I do wish that I could do more. However, this is so nice and it gives such a good finish. So I am going to just cover this layer all the way to the top. And then after it dries, it looks super nice. So then we are going to take it out of the mold. We are going to put our pop socket on the back of it. Just a little bit of epoxy and you want to be really careful because you don't want to get any epoxy on the front of your piece. Now, if you do, you can take some alcohol and, you know, just of course clean it off, but be really careful. You don't need too much epoxy, just enough to cover it very lightly. And then I'm going to secure this to the back and then add the bow. And once it's dried, it is all done. And this turned out so super cute. I hope you guys like it. I love it. And I think my niece will love it too. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you later. Bye. And here's the finished product. We just have to let it dry and it'll be ready to go. Bye friends.